eight students are competing in a 200 meter race. How many ways can the students finish first, second, and third? So how many decisions do we need to make in this one? How many spaces would you make? Well, how, are we wanting to figure out how they can finish from first to eighth, or are we just interested in figuring out how many ways they can finish first, second, and third? F great, because we're worried about giving out the medals, and then after that, fourth or eighth, we really don't care. You can just go home. There's participation ribbon or whatever they get, right? So there's only going to be three decisions. We have to decide, find out how many choices we have for first, second, and third. And how many choices do we have for first eight, then seven, then six? Now, this happens to be the same as eight factorial over five factorial. And on the page previous to this one, they introduce you to this formula. Permutations of different objects taken R at a time. Now this formula you're not going to use very often because the spaces, in my opinion, are easier to use with your choices than to actually use the formula. But what this means, and if we go back to, if we go back to our example, We have eight runners, and we are trying to take three of them at a time. According to the formula, if you have eight objects and you're trying to arrange three of them, then the formula is going to be eight factorial over eight minus three factorial, which happens to be eight factorial over five factorial, which matches up with what we had. So whenever you're arranging things in an order and you have a set number of objects to start with, so your set number of objects to start with is your n, and you're arranging, in this case, three, but r of those objects, the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial. But often we don't use this formula because it's easier for us to think that that r value is your number of decisions and that n number is the number you start with. So here your race, you have three decisions. You're starting with eight people, so you have eight choices for starting with. And then you go down from there. So notice how these counting ones are a little bit different than what we were doing the other day. The other day you could repeat a letter over and over again, right? In a race, it's very hard for the person who came in first to also come in third. I don't know how you could do that. Maybe, maybe you're running in a track and you're 400 meters and you run all the way around, you come in first, and then you run a whole nother 400 meters and lap everybody except for the second place. I don't know if that would count. Then you could get the gold medal and the bronze medal. No? Most people stop after the race is over. Yeah, okay. Okay, so try some of these. I'll give you some time right now. Do you want another uh, word, word problem that will give you a headache, or do you want to just work on these? Yes? Um, can you think of an English word that starts with he, he, H-E, ends with he, H-E, but it's not he, or he, he, or he, 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 he. <laughs> Okay, so it starts with he, ends with he, but it's not he or he, he. And to make it more complicated for you, I've said the word in the last 30 seconds. There you go.